go. I'm ready. Sweet. Let's uh, uh let's get it. Whoops. I don't think I'm ready. Let's <laughs> uh. Suck it up, Buttercup. <laughs> get, over ready? It. get over it. Get over it. Yeah, yeah, my sentiment. Okay, no. Cooking, Lewis. All right, here we go. Welcome to Academic Challenge. My name is Jim Gifford, your host and moderator, and today we are featuring teams from New Buffalo and Berrien Springs. WSGM's Academic Challenge features scholastic competition involving high schools from Berrien and Van Buren counties and is sponsored by Waterbury Public Schools, Lake Michigan College, Lakeshore Public Schools, and by Chemical Bank. First and foremost, let's meet the teams, and we'll start with Berrien Springs. Let's announce, let's find out who you are. Uh, what grade you're in, then we'll come back and find out who your coach is, too. Up front? I'm Joseph Nemeth, Jr. All right. I am Corey Bucholtz, and I am a senior. I'm Jessica. I'm a senior. I'm Matthew Reeves. I'm a junior. And Joseph, you're captain, I assume? Uh, this guy's captain. Uh, Corey, you're captain, I assume? <laughs> and our <laughs> wonderful coach. <laughs> and your coach is? Miss Virginia Shum. Ta-da! And she's with us here tonight. Yes. Welcome. And now, from New Buffalo, we have... I'm Lisa McGreen. Uh, Cameron Evans. Christian Smith, Jr. Emmy Lowe, freshman. And who's captain over here? Uh, Mason's here. playing the role of captain for New Buffalo. Your uh, coach is? Uh, Miss Tina Keller. All right, then. Welcome, one and all. Here are the basic rules. For the first and second halves, we announce the value of each question before it is asked. When you press your button to answer, please wait until I acknowledge you and what school you're from before you answer. There is no consultation allowed in these rounds. There will be in the 60-second round at halftime. More on that in just a little bit. I'll be your scorekeeper and uh, one of the judges tonight, Alec Heiler. Say hi, Alec. Hi. Hello. Hey, Alec. Uh, is uh, <laughs> will be asking the questions. <laughs> He'll also be uh, uh, one of the judges tonight, too. Is everybody ready? Yeah. So let's do this. Alec, whenever you are ready... Let's see, wait a minute, I've lost my scoring sheet. All right, now we're ready. Uh, Whenever right. you're ready, go for it. For five points, his family name was Buonarotti, but the greatest sculptor of the Renaissance is better known simply by what other name? Joseph, Berrien Springs. Who's Da Vinci? Uh, that is incorrect. And the Buffalo, five seconds to steal. Christian. Michelangelo. That is correct, for five points. For ten points... The earth science that is concerned with the chemical processes that have helped to shape the physical features of the earth is known as geochemistry. The earth science that investigates the physical properties and internal processes that take place within the earth, what is this science called? Emmy, New Buffalo. Geology. That is incorrect. Berrien Springs, to steal, five seconds. That's time. And that is geophysics. Ah, oh, that's sense. For 15 points, she's one of the best two states in the Union, wrote Robert Frost. Vermont's the other. Name the state that you've named the poem. Hold on. Name the state and you've named the poem as well. Matthew, uh, Barry Springs. Michigan. That is incorrect. <laughs> New Buffalo, five seconds. Virginia. Cameron. Sorry. Oh, sorry, Virginia. Um, that is also incorrect. The correct answer is New Hampshire. Oh. Oh. tried. <laughs> <laughs> For 20 points, on the eve of the final battle against the Philippines. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Not Philippines. <laughs> on the e For 20 points, on the eve of his final battle against the Philistines, Saul, Israel's first king, chose to ignore the law of Moses by visiting someone. Who was it? Time. And that is a witch. Hopefully, uh, Mr. Gifford can uh, edit that out. That was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> the Philippines? No, I'm leaving it. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you seem human. Yeah. <laughs> For 15 points, define and spell supersede. Matthew, Bering Springs. S U P E R C E D E. Uh, that, that is incorrect. Okay. Uh, New Buffalo. Emmy? S-U-P-E-R-C-E-E-D, and it means kind of like to exceed, maybe? Uh, 
That is uh, I, that's incorrect. I have it means to replace, and uh, supersede is S U P E R S E D E. Oh. Kind of a tricky one. Okay. For ten points, what is the sum of one half, three quarters, and five eighths? Reduce your answer. I'll read it again. What is the sum of one half, three fourths, and five eighths? And please reduce your answer. Matthew Bering Springs. Fifteen eighths. I need the answer reduced. Um, oh, uh, seven fourths. Uh, that is incorrect. <coughs> Emmy, New Buffalo. Three fourths. Uh, I have one and seven eighths. Oh. So, my apologies about that one. Yeah, that's right. <coughs> For ten points, what is the chief cause of death among college students? Joseph, Berrien Springs. Alcohol? <laughs> no, no, that is incorrect. Worth a shot. <laughs> New Buffalo, Emmy? Car accidents? Nope, the correct answer is suicide. Oh, oh that's, that's interesting. interesting. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, quite the, uh, quite hey. the Debbie Downer there. Well, <laughs> college, right? Yay! <laughs> yeah. For five points. <laughs> In Britain, this word is used only for people, most commonly as a noun modified by juvenile. In America... It is used mostly as an adjective, typically modifying taxes when they're late. What is this word? Christian, New Buffalo. Overdue? That is incorrect. Yes, Barry and Springs, five seconds. Joseph. Is it delinquent? That is correct for five points. Oh, yeah. I knew that. For ten points. The Apennine Mountains stretch from eight, stretch some 800 miles, acting as a watershed and giving rise to many important rivers. In what country are they located? Emmy, New Buffalo. Italy. That is correct for 10 points. For 20 points, identify this well-known pair of literary lovers. He was an army officer. She was the wife of a senior civil servant. They met on a railway platform. He went off to fight in a foreign war, and she committed suicide. Time. Uh, this is uh, Vronsky and Anna and Anna Karina. Uh, Must have went to college. Go <laughs> 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 yeah, back to suicide. Yeah. <laughs> a happy night that wow. is. <laughs> it started so jovial. We're still jovial. <laughs> okay. For five points, this mountain's highest summit, Matikas, is only 9,570 feet high. However, it's often visible above a layer of relatively low clouds, so the ancients believed it believed its peak reached pure upper air, making it a suitable home for the gods. Name the mountains. Joseph New Barren Springs. Was Olympus? That is correct for five points. For ten points, what German born physicist was once offered the presidency of Israel? Corey, Berrien Springs. Einstein. For 10 points. What? That's correct. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. German physicist, Jewish. Usually those two don't mix too well. Um, <laughs> for 15 points, what is the maximum number of roots of x raised to the fourth power minus 3x to the third? third? Matthew? Four. Uh, there was more. Uh, so plus 7x squared minus 2x plus 5. Let's I'll read start, it again. Let's start from the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> this is another one of those questions that has absolutely no commas in uh, 5. Uh, <laughs> All right, from the beginning. What is the maximum number of roots of x raised to the fourth power? Can we just not read this question? This is not a good question. It's not going to be bad. Help be yourself. So we're going to skip this question, okay? Okay. okay. All right, sounds good. <laughs> this yeah. one we will edit out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> For 15 points. What coral group was founded in 1498 by Emperor Maximilian I? Joseph, Bering Springs. Of the Great Barrier Reef? Th that is incorrect. <laughs> okay, shut up. <laughs> New Buffalo? <laughs> Five seconds. <laughs> Emmy? A barbershop quartet? 
Uh, that is incorrect, but closer than. <laughs> 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 um, it's the Vienna Boys Choir. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Who may or may not have sung at the Great Bear. <laughs> <laughs> I can see how that happens. A coral, coral. Could we add that part out? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's going in the promo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> For 20 points, scarlet and rheumatic fever are both caused by what kind of bacteria? Time. And that's streptococcus. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> for 10 points, what is the name for the smaller pair, for the smaller of a pair of loudspeakers emphasizing high frequencies? So I'll read it again. What is the name for the smaller of a pair of loudspeakers emphasizing high frequencies? Uh, Emmy, New Buffalo. A uh, treble? Uh, that is incorrect. Burian Springs, five seconds. <laughs> Joseph. A uh, bass. That is also incorrect. Okay. It is a tweeter. Tweeter. Oh. Oh, yes. I, I have one of those. <laughs> the next <laughs> question will be the final question of this first half, mercifully. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> For five points, because he was persuaded that the results of scientific research should be freely available to all mankind, what scientist refused to receive any money for his discovery of the high-energy photons that enable physicians to see inside the human body? That's time. And that is the ever popular Wilhelm Röntgen. Or Röntgen. There you go. And that is the end of the first half of today's academic challenge. We'll be back with the score and the 62nd round after this on WSJM, the news and talk of Michigan's Great Southwest. That's what they chose Four last time. Spanish animals. Spanish animals? Spanish animals? Yeah. Spanish animals? I had, had the one that said eight. It was, it was like oh, classic oh. rock presidents and Spanish animals. I got <laughs> what are classic rock? I don't know. Hey, Corey. So if if there was. But no, they're like oh, Spanish yeah. animals. I, you said it's Spanish animals. I really need to read the answer. We got like two. I have nothing to say. You're going to be introduced. Go ahead. That was just an introduced. But they sat there for a very excellent five minutes. And they're like, we need to get to One over seven. One over seven. One over seven. Right. It's reduced down to what is possible. Right. 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 See, one that's what I'm saying. Minus 2x no, plus 5. No, 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 no. Well, I just want to know the answer to that one. And that one was uh, 4. Yeah. Yeah. Four. All right, and then... Um, you said 4. Yeah, he said 4. <laughs> yeah. Four. And you said, oh, no, I didn't finish the question. Oh. He said 4. Yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> uh, it's first well, term highest power in yeah. number roots. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can retroactively maybe. No, no we're, we're, we're fine. No. So I didn't even bother reading because I was like, uh, Are we ready? how the world would he know without? <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> you just because didn't. You because you're like getting it guessing again. Like yeah. Because of ESP. Yeah. ESP. <laughs> 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 All right. Nice. Here we go. We're coming back for the 60 second round. Oh, I hate it. At the end of the first half, the score, Berrien Springs 20, New Buffalo 15, and we move on to the 60-second round. Teams, you'll have three categories to choose from. We give you 60 seconds to answer as many of the 10 questions as you can. Each one is worth 10 points. There is a 20-point bonus if you answer all 10 within the time limit. You're encouraged to consult with one another at this point, but the answers must come from the team captain. After the minute's up, the opposing team will have a chance to answer any questions the first team could not, and New Buffalo, you are trailing at the moment, so you'll have your choice, first choice of these categories, and they are math, trans as in the prefix trans, or carried away. Math, the prefix trans, or carried away. What is your choice? What? I 
I mean, I'm okay. I mean, calculus. <laughs> Define good. Uh-huh. What do you guys think? what's it going to be? <laughs> we'll go with trans. They're going uh, with trans, as in the prefix trans. 60 seconds on the clock. No need to buzz in. Consult amongst yourselves. Answer has to come from Mason. Alec? All right. Use the prefix trans to determine the words fitting these descriptions. The stern portion, the stern portion of a boat where a motor is affixed. Pass. A province in the Republic of South Africa. Pass. Either of the two wings of a church built in the form of a cross. Pass. An American school of philosophy and writing. Pass. The belief that the bread and wine of the Eucharist turn into the true presence of Christ. Now, oh, bad category. <laughs> Pass. A verb form requiring a direct object. Transition. Transition. Transitive. Transitive. That is correct. A person who likes to dress like the opposite sex. Transgender. Transgender. That is incorrect. Well, you gave it a go. <laughs> Barry and Springs, you will have uh, well, quite a number to, uh, to to answer here on these. Again, 10 points apiece. Alec, whenever you are ready. And again, all of the uh, answers must come from Joseph. Alec, whenever you're ready. Oh, Corey. For, from Corey. Or Corey, excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. The stern portion of a boat where a motor is affixed. Trans deck. Uh, that is incorrect. No a province, the Republic of South Africa. Um. Trans- Trans- no. No. Transylvania. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is incorrect. No, that's wrong. <laughs> Either of the two wings of a church built in the form of a cross. No idea. Pass. An American school of philosophy and writing. Uh, Transcendentalism. That is correct. The belief that the bread and wine of the Eucharist turn into the true presence of Christ. Transformation. That is incorrect. A person who likes to dress like the opposite sex. Transsexual. Transvestite. That is incorrect. Any device that turns energy of one into another. Transistor? Uh, Transformer. That is incorrect. A line intersects a system of lines. Oh you can answer. Oh God. <laughs> Transsector. That is incorrect. I, I can read the answers we missed. The okay. stern so one correct over one here? One correct, yep. And one correct over here, correct? Yes. Correct? Yeah, correct. <laughs> the stern portion of a boat where motors are fixed is a transom. Oh, yeah. A province, the Republic of South Africa, is a transvaal. A uh, transept is one of the two wings of a church built in the form of cross. Tr- transcendentalism is correct. Transubs- transubstantiation oh, is Jesus. that one. <laughs> and then transvestite is what we're looking for. Gotcha. And he was... Oh, you're a second. Yeah. So All right, that uh, wraps up one half of it. Now, uh, Barry and Springs, your choices are math or carried away. Math or carried away. We shall try carried away. They shall try carried away. (laughs) 60 seconds back on the clock, and Barry and Springs is up first. And uh, go ahead and read the instructions there, Alec. Mary and Joseph carried the baby Jesus to Egypt. Tell me what these other Bible characters carried. The first, what did Moses carry when he appeared before the Pharaoh? Uh, The Ten Commandments. A staff. A staff. That is correct. Whose bones did Moses carry out of Egypt, fulfilling the sacred promise of his ancestors? Abraham. Abraham. That is incorrect. What did the army of Gideon carry? (laughs) Swords. That is incorrect. What did the Philistines carry home from the battle in which the sons of Eli were killed? Pass. What did the ten virgins carry? Pass. What did Herod's executioner carry to the dancing daughter of Herodias? Uh, uh, John's head. That is correct. 
What did Abraham carry when he was? What did Abraham carry when he led his young son Isaac up the mountain? Oh, uh, a lamb. That is incorrect. What did the priests carry when they marched around Jericho? Trumpets. No. That is correct. What did Peter carry to the Garden of? A little help here. Uh, guess the main. Guess the army. It's like she said. <laughs> What did Peter carry to the Garden of Gethsemane? <laughs> uh, was that a sword? Is that your answer? Sword. Yeah. That is correct. <laughs> yeah, hit the doozy here. Yeah. <laughs> Barry Springs got four correct there for 40 more points. Better than that. <laughs> and New Buffalo, here's your shot at it. And Alec, whenever you are ready. All right. Whose bones did Moses carry out of Egypt, fulfilling the sacred promise of his ancestors? St. Joseph. That is correct. What did the army of Gideon carry? Torches and pitchers. That is correct. What did the Philistines carry home from the battle in which the sons of Eli were killed? Eli? That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> what did the ten versions carry? Lanterns? That is correct. What did Abraham carry when he led his young son Isaac up the mountain? Knife. That is correct. What did Simon the Cyrenian carry? What did Simon the Cyrenian carry? I don't know. Pass. All right, that's all. That's it. Okay. Total four for 40 points for New Buffalo. <laughs> That ends the 62nd round. We'll check the scores and conclude the game next here on WSJM, yeah. the news and talk of Michigan's great Southwest. And if you want to give them the right answers, you may do that. Yeah, actually, I think they only, they only, got they only, got three. yeah, they got three. three. Okay. They got um, Joseph's, Lamps, and knife. Lamps again. And, and, and Knife. knife. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Knife. So they got four. Yeah. We the four, the there was Joseph, and then there was the, tor the lamps. And the torches, Joseph, yeah. the torches, lamps, lamps and again. the knife. And a knife. That's four. That's four. four. Yeah, because there was, uh, what did the army of Gideon carry in lamps, torches, and pitchers? Yeah. Um, and then there was the um, question, what did, uh, the, what did the ten virgins carry? That was also lamps. Yeah. yeah. That was four. What were the math questions about? Uh, <laughs> Chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't tell him. I was just, it's, it's doable, you know. Yeah. A lot more doable than the trans category. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't do math. I thought, but. Oh well. Let's yeah, and then you know there was some that like, both gave that like were close enough to the right, like the rod is a staff, but I consider that acceptable. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready, Lewis. For that knife, for that knife question, wasn't he gonna kill his son? And yeah, he decided he not to. Yeah, yeah. But there is a. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. I'd heard that story before. I don't know. We'll wait. I don't. I don't read a lot of. Well, I'm not <laughs> Christian, so. Are we waiting on two variants for Uh yes, 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 we are. <laughs> All right. <coughs> this is where you guys talk about your uh, about your schools, so if we're ready, here we go. He looks like somebody I know. The score at the end of the sixty second round, Berrien Springs seventy, New Buffalo sixty five. Time now to find out a little bit about what's happening at each of our participating schools. And first from New Buffalo, here's Mason. Okay, at New Buffalo, it is the end of the trimester, and we have exams this week. We have new sports that are starting up, our wrestling and basketball. We have a band concert in approximately three weeks. Our quiz bowl team just went to Holland tournament, and our JV team did well. And let's see, does that say, just completed food drive for the Harbor Country Food Pantry. And it was a huge success. Very nice. Thank you, Mason. And from Bavarian Springs, Corey.
Greetings from Berrien Springs High School. Fall sports are getting ready to start and we're looking forward to a great winter season. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers will be presented on November 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th at 7 p.m. at the Mars Community Center. We are gearing up for our Cultural Awareness Assembly to be held on November 26th at 9.30 a.m. In, in the school gymnasium. Twenty performances are lined up for this event, from Italian opera to a Samoan Brotherhood song. Consider joining us for this fun morning. Thank you to WSJM, FM 94.9, Lake Michigan College, Chemical Bank, Waterville Schools, and Lakeshore Public Schools for sponsoring this event. And of course, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you, sir. No substitutions here. You can applaud if you like. That was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was beautiful. Uh, we have no substitutions, so we move right into the second half of today's academic challenge between New Buffalo and Darien Springs. And uh, Alec, as soon as I get the timer set here and you're ready to go, we can get started. Everybody ready? Here we go. Oh, and I'm happy to announce these are a lot easier to read, this, this portion. Yeah. So. God. What is the literal meaning of the word dinosaur? For 10 points. Corey, Berrien Springs. Giant lizard. That is incorrect. <laughs> New Buffalo, five seconds. Cameron? Prehistoric lizard. Another fine guess, but it's terrible lizard. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> For 10 points, the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo concluded the Mexican War. What treaty ended the Spanish-American War? Emmy, New Buffalo. Treaty of Paris? That is correct. Four. 10 points. For 20 points, what do geologists call the concept that the bottom of the ocean forms at the crest of the mid-oceanic ridge and then moves horizontally away from the ridge crest toward a trench? Christian, New Buffalo. Seafloor spreading. That is correct for 20 points. For 10 points, incorporating the British Union Jack in the Southern Cross is a flag of which South Pacific nation? Joseph, Bering Springs. Samoa. Samoa? Mm -hmm. That is incorrect. New Buffalo, five seconds. Christian? New Zealand. I can take that for 10 points. Also Australia, similar. 10 points? For 10 points, yes, sir. For 15 points, resembling the Stars and Stripes is a national flag of which African nation? Joseph, Berrien Springs. Liberia. That is correct, for 15 points. Nice. For 15 points, Chaucer in The Merchant's Tale and Shakespeare in Two Gentlemen of Verona express the same idea of love. In Two Gentlemen of Verona, Valentine is told, if you love her, you can't see her. Valentine asks why, and the answer begins, because, and there are three words which I'd like you to ask you for. These are the three words. Matthew, Bering Springs. I love you. That is incorrect. New Buffalo, five seconds. Cameron. Who, what, why? <laughs> <laughs> that is incorrect. That was a lot of text for a cliche. It is love is blind. Oh, God. Oh. For 10 points. It is a type of lace work made by techniques similar to knitting, except with only one needle. What is it called? Joseph, Buried Springs. Crochet. That is correct, for 10 points. For 5 points, the Bible says man's days are numbered at 3 score and 10. If you lived to be 3 score and 10, how old would you be? Emmy, New Buffalo. 70. For 5 points, that is correct. For 5 points, in, what in physics, the force exerted against an opposing body, expressed in weight per unit of area, is called what? Corey, Bering Springs. Pressure? That is correct, for five points. Arthur Kessler, author of Darkness at Noon, was highly acclaimed for his works, which criticized the harsh rule of what dictator? Jessica, Bering Springs. Lennon? That is incorrect. New Buffalo, five seconds. <coughs> Emmy? Stalin. That is correct. For 15 points. 15? 15, yes, sir. Okay. Technically, they are hollow dolls, not dummies. But the distinction is in how they are manipulated. A puppet is a hollow doll moved by a hand or arm inside. What's the four-syllable word for dolls moved by strings from above? Emmy, New Buffalo. Marionette. For 10 points. For 10 points, sp specifically, what science deals with plant and animal life in the ocean? 
Mason, New Buffalo. Marine biology. That is correct for 10 points. For five points, NATO was foreign because there was a fear of the spread of what in Europe? Joseph, Green Communism. Springs. Repeat your answer. Communism. That is correct for five points. For 15 points, top scientists agreed with the U.S. astronomer Carl Sagan that nuclear war would have a calamitous effect on global climate and human life. What term did Sagan like? Joseph, Bering Springs. Mutually assured destruction. That is incorrect. To, Go ahead. to describe the aftermath of a nuclear holocaust, which devastates life on Earth. New Buffalo, five seconds. <laughs> Time? And that correct answer is nuclear winter. Oh. <laughs> For 15 points, the length of the hypotenuse of an isosceles right triangle is 10 meters. What is the length of each leg? I'll repeat the question. The length of the hypotenuse of an isosceles right triangle is 10 meters. What is the length of each leg? Emmy, New Buffalo. Five. That is incorrect. Corey, Berrien Springs. Five squirts of two. That is correct for 15 points. Mm -hmm. What was the answer again? Uh, okay. Five squares of two, so five times okay. a square of two meters. It's been a while since I've taken geometry. <laughs> that's what you said, correct? Yes. yes. That's what I thought. For 20 points, the following lines are excerpted from <laughs> the final following lines are excerpted from uh, one of America's oldest favorite songs. Sure, it's like a morn in the spring. In the lilt of Irish laughter, you can hear the angels sing. What is the name of the song? Matthew, Bering Springs. Battle Hymn of the Republic. That is incorrect. New Buffalo, five seconds. Time. And that is when Irish eyes are smiling. If I would have known the song, I would have tried to, like, nice. give it to you. <laughs> um, for 15 points, she was 17 and he was but 22 when he abandoned his marriage for her. His first wife would later commit suicide. He would die by drowning at the age of 30, Aww. and she would devote her life to bringing recognition to his poetry. Who were they? What? This is so sad. Time. And that's Mary and Percy Shelley. Oh. Must went to college. That's so sad. All, the, all these college graduates. <laughs> yeah, really. He did college, but. For five points, the USS Scorpion and the USS Thresher were both lost at sea. What kind of what kind of vessels were they known as? Joseph, Burn Springs, submarines. For five points. For fifteen points, according to a, according to the rhyme, what is the fate of Saturday's child? Time. And that is, he must work for a living. Ryan King. <laughs> for five points. <laughs> Monday's child is full of grace, blah, blah, blah. Oh. Yeah. Right, it's okay. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> for five points, what was baseball player Harold Reese's nickname? Emmy, New Buffalo. Pee Wee. That is correct for five points. <coughs> for 20 points, what do attorneys call the crime of encouraging or compelling another person to commit a crime? Joseph, Burying Springs. Double Jeopardy. That is incorrect. New Buffalo. Uh, Cameron, just in under the wire. Aiding and embedding. That is incorrect. It is uh, solicitation. Oh. Uh, oh. Charles Manson. I've heard that. <laughs> For 15 points, in the late 1970s, the U.S. Congress belatedly voted a posthumous, newly created military title. General of the Armies of the United States for America's most distinguished military leader. Who was he? Corey, Berrien Springs. Eisenhower. That is incorrect. New Buffalo, five seconds. Christian. MacArthur. Also incorrect is General George Washington. Oh, yeah. oh. oh. We often don't think of him like that, though, in your defense. For 15 points, consider the chord A diminished seventh. It contains A, C, E flat, and what other note? Emmy, New Buffalo. E. 
That is incorrect. Varian Springs, five seconds. Matthew? A. Uh, that is also incorrect. The correct answer is G flat or F sharp. And I literally have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> so <laughs> you guys were close. Yeah, you guys were closer <laughs> than I would have been. Get out of here. For 15 <laughs> points, which city has been the site of a more major party presidential I'll repeat it. For 15 points, which city has been the site of more major party presidential conventions than any other? Emmy, New Buffalo. Chicago. For 15 points. Wow. Major John Andre. Major John Andre. Adjutant. Major John Andre, adjutant to the British General George Clinton, was captured in se September 1780, out of uniform. Subsequently, hanged as a spy, he had just come from a concert with a treasonous American. They were discussing the surrender of West Point to the British, named the American. Joseph Baring Springs. Benedict Arnold. Thank you for 10 points. <laughs> Benedict. For five points, China has many has many for five points, China has had many leaders in its millennia of existence. Who was China's first leader under the communist form of government? Joseph Bering Springs. Mao. That is correct for five points. For ten points, in what year did Mao take control of China after driving the government of Chiang Kai shek to Taiwan? Emmy, New Buffalo? Nineteen forty nine. That is correct for ten points. For five points, what this does an ellipse This by the way will be the final question of the match here today. For five points, what does an ellipse become when the major and minor axes are equal? Corey, Bering Springs, a circle. That is correct for five points. And that, my friends, wraps it up. That's the end of today's academic challenge. We will tabulate the scores and announce the winners after this on WSJM, the news and talk of Michigan's great southwest. We're still going. Yeah, yeah. yeah like we still have to like... Yeah, I got a score and stuff. You're good, you're good, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't discount the goodness. Never mind, no good game. <laughs> it was all bad. Bad game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm old. Me too. I am. Let me go get some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. I think you want to stay. I'm not good. Oh, we're saving? <laughs> okay. Just give me a heads like up. Negative. For those of you who uh, haven't been here, we have been streaming live, and we'll save it on YouTube as well, and we'll, uh, uh, Lewis is recording it, so it runs on the air on uh, 94.9 FM Sunday mornings at 8 o'clock and Sunday evenings at 9 o'clock. Oh. So there's that. Oh, thank you. Freezing over there, are you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Can't feel my face with that. You're that cold? I was going to say 7.5. Four. Oh. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, All right. Let's wrap it up. We'll let you guys get back on the road here. And here we go. We are back on WSJM's Academic Challenge with today's winner. And a thank you to our sponsors. And the winners by a score of 175 to 145, the team from New Buffalo. How about a nice hand for New Buffalo? Congratulations. Thank you all for joining us on WSJM's Academic Challenge, brought to you by Lakeshore Public Schools, Lake Michigan College, Waterloo League Public Schools, and by Chemical Bank. And we hope to join us again next time when Berrien Springs and St. Joe go head-to-head -head on Academic Challenge. Thank you all.